Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'm finally once again going to take a look at a high-end graphics card. The Inno 3D GeForce GTX 980 Hercules X3 NVIDIA graphics card. And not just a NVIDIA card, but the GTX 980, the current flagship model. This card currently costs about 620 to 670 US dollars, which is quite a lot in general, but graphics cards indeed actually got cheaper now compared to the offered performance. In this review we'll see whether it's worth it to spend the money on this card or not. But before I move on, I just have to thank one of my true supportive subscribers, Nikki, also known as Skyprey, for even making this video review possible. Thank you so much Nikki for lending me your brand new, not even open graphics card to review. This is the second time he's lending me his hardware to review. Not too long ago he has also sent me his two ASUS R7265 graphics cards to test. And even this time he also included money for the shipping costs. That's unbelievable. I can't find the right words here. Just a huge, huge thank you, Nikki. All right, in the box is the beautiful graphics card itself, an insulation kit, which basically is an insulation guide with the driver CD. Also included is a power supply guideline for different GPUs, a DVI to VGA adapter, a dual Molex to PCIe 6 pin adapter, completely in black, very nice, and last but not least, a hex tip screwdriver to remove the cooler here on the card for example. Besides, there are two great benefits when buying this Inno 3D version. You get a free copy of the latest 3D Mark benchmarking tool, and Inno 3D also includes their fairly big iChill mouse mat. That's a nice mouse mat. The Inno 3D GTX 980 has 4GB of GDDR5 video memory and makes use of NVIDIA's new powerful GM204 Maxwell GPU. The core clock is at 1152MHz, the boost clock at 1253MHz and the memory clock at 1753MHz. This GPU has a TDP of 165 watts, which really isn't that much anymore for a high-end GPU and that's really good. The GPU is manufactured on the 28 nanometer process. The GTX 980 has a 256 bit bus width and supports the new DirectX 12 API. Now let's take a look at the card itself. The Inno 3D GTX 980 looks absolutely amazing, I just have to say that right away. It so far is the most beautiful graphics card I've ever seen. It's just so perfect in design, all the little details, the colors, the backplate, the used materials, simply amazing. Inno 3D has done a fantastic job with their Hercules design. The black and grey color scheme is very good too. The Hercules X3 cooler features three fans here and the fan quality is pretty good by the way. The shroud indeed is out of metal here, just these black parts here are out of plastic but that's perfectly fine. A massive amount of aluminum is used here for this cooler and look at the heat pipes. We have four here and that symmetric design of them really add another small detail to the design. This graphics card should indeed run very cool. Inno 3D obviously wanted to keep the card simple and minimalistic in some way for enthusiasts like me for example, yet do something very eye-catchy. Combining these two things often is very difficult, but Inno 3D did a great job here. Now when we turn the card around, we get to see the nice sturdy black metal backplate that adds even more to the looks of the card, but mainly to the stability. This of course makes the graphics card fairly heavy, but it's no problem at all, I love that. To power this beast up, only two PCIe 6-pin power connectors are required. Also on the left are two SLI connectors, which means you can run this card in 4-way SLI. As for the outputs, there's one DVI output, three DisplayPort outputs, and one HDMI output. Also, you've surely already noticed, this plate here is black as well. That's very rare to see, and I love it. This Inno 3D GTX 980 measures about 27.5 centimeters in length, pretty much the ideal length for a high-end GPU. So yeah, in terms of design, I now know how my dream card looks like. But it's not always about the looks, how much performance has this card to offer?
The Inno 3D GTX 980 Hercules X3 graphics card has massive performance to offer. No one can really deny that. Compared to my own Gigabyte GTX 780 Windforce card, this GTX 980 has a lot more performance to offer while running cooler and consuming less power. But that's what we all actually expect. There has to be an improvement and Nvidia definitely did a great job here. With this Inno 3D GTX 980, you can pretty much play every game at maxed out settings without any problems at all. Of course, once you play at higher resolutions than 1080p, the frame rate won't be as high as you've seen in my 1080p charts, but it's still one of the best single GPU gaming graphics cards you could get now, even for high resolutions. Unfortunately, I don't have the possibility yet to test at 4K for example, but this card should do very well. In my case, it didn't really matter which game I threw at this card, I got awesome frame rates on maxed out settings. Even new games such as Far Cry 4 really run great. The gameplay with this GTX 980 is extremely smooth. In terms of noise levels, it doesn't matter if I put this in a 3D card on idle or full load, it remains very quiet. For instance, I couldn't even hear the card itself over my case fans and these aren't exactly loud. The temperatures also remain fairly low, with just 62 degrees Celsius on 100% load, again, very quiet operation. And now to another interesting topic, the power consumption. Nvidia managed to lower the power consumption on this GPU generation a lot, yet we get great performance improvements at the same time. It's pretty much win-win. As you saw in the charts, the GTX 980 draws a little less power than a GTX 770, that's very efficient indeed. Overclocking this Inno 3D GTX 980 shouldn't be a problem at all, but I didn't want to do that since this card isn't mine. There are always are certain risks, and that's why I didn't try that out here. For $620 to $670, this isn't really a cheap card, but for a flagship GPU, not too bad actually. In terms of price performance ratio, the GTX 970 and 960 cards probably are the better choices, but if you want the best of the best from the latest technology right now, this is the card to go for. Again, this Inno 3D version of the GTX 980 looks absolutely fantastic. It's so beautiful I can't even find the right words. Besides, it's extremely durable. If I had the money to spend, this would be my dream graphics card I'd buy for my own personal system. I'd definitely recommend the Inno 3D GeForce GTX 980 Hercules X3 graphics card. It's one hell of a beast. Once again, thank you so much Nikki, also known as Skyprey for lending me your brand new card and making this review possible. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.